So if memory serves me correctly, we need to put the warped soul gem that uh, Arniel gave us, you know, forever ago, into a dwarven convector. It seems we have one over at Mazolft. I think we already did it once, so I think we need to do it like three more times. I think I did. I think this is the one that I already used because I remember going uh, towards the rift for that. So I don't know if I can use it the same. I don't know if I can use the same convector several times. So let's just go over to Mazolft. Oh, well it was snowing before and now it's pouring. Wonderful. Also, hungry, tired, thirsty. Who would have guessed? Right now a little cold and a little wet, and I don't exactly like it. These ruins, they're dwarven. Up for some exploring? Hell yes, you know it, Arissa. Let's go. And I've already been here before, so hopefully not gonna run into too many problems, not gonna have too much trouble finding this convector. You know, not a lot of uh Dwemer uh, automatons coming out to murder me. I saw you trap, uh, not trap door, but you know, pressure plate. Oh, oh yeah, the Synod were here. That's why I came here. That reminds me. So let's, uh, put the warped soul gem in. And now, heat the convector to the precise temperature with the uh, with the given spell there we go oh that's it that's all I needed to do I just did I visit more than one I don't even remember Ooh, very hot very hot oh good thing I'm wearing gloves see Arissa if you were picking it up you would not be too happy with that you're not wearing gloves you would have burnt your little hands right off and you would have been like George really but like, I'm sorry it's not my fault I mean, it kind of is, because I should have taken it instead, but I'm sorry. Also, I ran right over that pressure plate. I don't know if it did anything. <laughs> if it did, it probably hurt Arissa, not me. So, uh, sorry again, Arissa. I don't know. Any companion that I have... Oh. Wait, into a final converter. Make up your mind. I don't know what you want from me anymore, goddammit. Alright. So, let's... Go to another one. Is my horse here? Because I could definitely use my horse to travel. There you are, you stupid horse. You stupid, stupid animal. Why do I say that? Because, well... Jesus, just look at you. You're terrifying. Alright, so... It's a very, very long ways away, but let's go to Deep Folk Crossing. And who would have guessed? Hungry, tired, and probably very, very thirsty. Mostly tired, though, because, god damn, I've just been riding around Skyrim for days now, and ugh. Uh, uh, uh. So we got a convector right over here. Let me just throw this uh, soul gem in. Ooh, a chicken dumpling. Very tasty. Fortunately, you know, I have a um, an actual bed over in um, College of Winterhold, so I can always just sleep there when I get back there to... Uh, Give this thing back to Arniel. Warped soul gem. Just shove that in there. Oh, this convector would make a great, like, little mini oven for when I want to heat up my food. Ooh. You see, I'm saying this because I'm still a little, a little hungry right about now. What am I going to eat? Ooh, another chicken dumpling. So now, we actually go back to Arniel. I'm pretty goddamn sure. Uh, so, Winterhold all the way over here. Oh, once again, let's take the horse. Oh, it'll go a little faster. Probably a good idea. You know, I know. Ugh, it's very gray out. I've been traveling all over Skyrim nonstop just to heat up a stupid soul gem. Ugh. It's all because we don't have microwave ovens yet, because we just need to invent microwave ovens here. In Skyrim. Boop. Oh. Uh. Alright, horse. What are you doing here on the bridge? <gasps> How did you get this far, horse? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh. Um. Am I alright? Yeah, no. We're, f we're fine? Where'd my horse go? 
Did my horse... Oh, my horse is alive. Um... Alright then. You. Like I was saying before, horses are weird. Horses are stupid. Horses are terrifying. <laughs> oh, that was all just a little... A little too much for me. I'm gonna pick some clams, though, because I want some clam chowder a little later, because, you know, clam chowder, it's, it's goddamn delicious. Ugh, and now we get to make our journey all the way back up to Winterhold. <laughs> oh, the great collapse of Winterhold has now led to the collapse of my horse. And my collapse as well, falling off the bridge accidentally because my horse decided, Hey, I'm just gonna walk right onto the bridge. And I was like, what, what are you doing, horse? And then, you know, we fall right off, but turns out my horse is a cat because he just lands on his feet and is absolutely fine. I have an invincible horse. And Arissa's just here like, what What are you doing? What did you do? Why did you fly off the bridge? I'm like, listen, sweetheart, I had no choice in the matter. So don't go pointing your fingers at me because I didn't choose to go flying off the bridge. I didn't stand there and go like, yeah, this seems like a great idea. This seems fun. And just decide like, yeah, no, this is probably going to kill me. It didn't. I was very fortunate, but I assumed it was going to kill me because that is a very deep drop. We're very, a very long drop. We didn't even land in water, for that matter. We just literally landed on the coastline. <laughs> so the fact that we're alive is fantastic. Stupid horse, you're another horse. Get out of here. All these horses, I just don't give a shit. Alright, but... College of Winterhold, I'm back. Open your gates for me. For, you know, your proud, proud leader. Although I'm not your leader, because I was like, screw that. Too much work, too much responsibility. And then I left, because that's, well, that's just something I kind of do. Alright, so, I want to sleep, but let's just talk to Arniel first. I think this is where I sleep anyway, so that's fine. Cold, but Khajiit feels warmness from your presence. Thank you, Jazargo. You're hitting on me a little bit, aren't you? I'm like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. I always forget which bed is mine. There we go. So I'm gonna sleep for... Uh, well, no, 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 no. Let's talk to Arniel, because for all I know, he's gonna start moving around, and I'm gonna be like, Arniel, just stand still, you stupid bitch. Where is he, for that matter? Is he upstairs? He's upstairs. He's just hanging around, being like, I'm Arniel. I do weird dwarven stuff. Hello, Good Dolph, dear. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. That's lovely. I have your gem, by the way. It worked, then. Let me see. Goodness, that's it, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Yes. It's not perfect, but it's a close enough approximation that it should certainly suffice for initial tests. You've done excellent work here. Truly excellent. There's only one thing missing now, and that should be arriving shortly. I'll begin preparations. Thank you again so much for this. Um, all right, well, do you have any water by chance? Of course. Uh-huh. All right, thank you very much. So, I guess let's uh sleep and before we leave, I am going to head over to the to the main building, to the library, see if there's anyone who wants to chat, anyone who wants to do some quests or, you know, if anyone who wants me to do quests for them. That's not my room. This is. So let's sleep for Damn, it's already 5 p.m. Um Well, you know what? I've been journeying for like three days nonstop, so I'm gonna sleep for for 16 hours. That's right, you heard it here for first, folks. 16 hours of sleep. Arissa's just gonna sit in the chair and be like, wow, he's taking a really long nap. I don't know why he wants me to just sit here with him. Like, he has the option to tell me to go into town and just hang out, but no, he's just like, I'm gonna have you sit here and watch me sleep all goddamn day. Ooh, hungry and thirsty, who would've guessed? Where is Arissa, for that matter? Arissa? Have you seen Arissa? Perhaps we can go another few decades without a disaster. That would be nice. Amen. Good to see Skyrim. Where did Arissa go? She's not here watching me sleep for 16 hours? Bullshit. Maybe Arissa is just scared of the college. I know I would be if I wasn't a mage and I was just like, what the fuck is this place? Is she not allowed in the college because she's not a mage? I could have sworn she had been here with me before. Oh, there you are. Arissa. Arissa. How you doing? Wait, nope. Stand still for a second. Yeah? Um. 
Uh, okay, I guess I can't tell you to go hang out in the town because we're not in town right now. Makes sense. All right, let's, uh... I want to stop in the Arcanium and see if there's anyone who wants to chat. We are going to have to stop in town before I leave. Uh, because I'm already out of food. Oh, man. I always buy so much food and I'm, I just always run out. I'm such a fat little piggy. Like, honestly, if you stuck a fork in me, odds are sweet rolls would just fall out. Like, fully intact sweet rolls, because I don't even chew. I just kind of eat them. Oh, this is the Archmage's quarters. That's not where I wanted to go. Uh, oh, there's uh, Masalem's headquarters. I've, well, not headquarters, but quarters. I forgot about that, because he just hangs out there. I wanted to go to the Arcanium. I still get very turned around here, even though I spent, you know, several days here, because... I was a member of the college. I'd better not touch these materials. There's so much stuff here, I love it. Oh, the Adric Daydream, an esoteric piece of artwork by an unknown religious scholar. What well, makes sense, it is Adric after all. A plaque reads, a proposed model of Mundus, derived from the astrological data collected at the Imperial Orrery by wizard... Bothiel, 3rd era, year 434. Well, a lot's changed in the past 200 years. Well, maybe not. Because, like, what would have changed about the globe? Hmm. Anyone here that wants to discuss book things? Book things are good, huh? Oh, look at your little plant! Oh, a miniaturized tree, the product of many years of diligent cultivation. Oh, I learned... Restoration from that. I would have guessed alchemy, but all right. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Um, well, would you be interested in an Elder Scroll? Very funny. Did Enther put you up to this? Uh, I'm serious. It's yours if you want it. it you? Really? An Elder Scroll? Out. Yeah. I would be honored. It's beyond honored to have such a thing here at the college. All right. This opens up entire new realms of research for us. Oh, if only Septimus were here to see this. Oh, right, that guy. Thank you. Please, take this. It can't quite compare to an Elder Scroll, but still, you will be remembered for generations for this. That's right. He wanted me to do stuff for him. That is very, very true. Let me take a look. I'm supposed to go back to Septimus. Right, I should probably do that. He's been waiting for years now. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Do you uh, work here in the library? I'm Mr. Groshev's apprentice. While well, I've been trained in the library arts, at the moment, my duties are rather limited. Mm-hmm. And why is that? There isn't much that Master can't handle already. I'm more of an understudy. Someone who takes over if and when he retires. Which, at this rate, will be anywhere between someday and never. I'm leaning towards never, knowing him. You don't think you'll ever be librarian? No. And it's not an exaggeration. I know Master Grosha looks old. Well, because he is. Way too old for an orc. The rumor around here is that he's immortal. As in, he measures time by the era. Which means, unless I start a competing library... I'm stuck being an apprentice forever. Oh, let's get you a competing library. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Well, I meant it as a joke, but if you say so... Let's do it! Come on! Tell me about the library. Oh, you know, you're talking about this library, aren't you? Nah, that's no fun. All right, then. All right. Hi there. Greetings, Archmage. I, I'm not the Archmage, but thank you, Olivia. Uh, what exactly is in these texts? I mentioned the pages from five separate texts were stolen. This is no coincidence. I'm sure you can divine why. They're related. Um. Uh. One for each school of magic, one for each of the troubadours who brought Valerian to the Sigix. Um. One for each school of magic. Exactly. Yes! According to the theory, there was purpose to Galarion's decision to divide his childhood journals into five parts. Contained within each was a tale that alluded to spells and techniques authored by a specific school. And how do the schools of magic relate to these texts? 
It is well known that Galarian's gifts for magic were quite diverse. He could restore a rose to full bloom not long after burning it aflame, all while fooling the mind into believing its scent had rotted away. In other words, the spells involve multiple disciplines. The theory goes that Galarian was on the verge of completing five new spells, one for each school. Spells of such tremendous power that even the immortal armies of Manimarko would countenance their fear. Unfortunately, Galarian's obsession with his nemesis deprived him of his patience. Nevertheless, before he embarked on the great battle, he left notes encoded in five works, so others could continue his research. Do you have any idea who stole the pages? I have an inkling. I was able to glean some clues based on my interviews of the residents of Winterhold, who seem far more observant of mages than the faculty. Uh-huh. I sent my assistant, Jado Ra, to investigate the matter further, uh -oh. but I fear something grave has befallen him. Uh-oh. Um, well, I'll find out what happened to him. Finally, someone with initiative. That's me. I need someone to scout the area he was investigating. Your safety is paramount. Agreed. If the mage in question is at the site, do not attempt to confront him, even if Jado Ra is in imminent danger. I don't know about that. I, why not? I want to help him. Don't we need your assistant alive to find out what he's learned? The Khajiit is a crafty one. They always you are. You leave clues behind even in death. Yet if you sacrifice both your lives, both your efforts will be squandered. Um, alright. I'll see what I can find out. Good. Jado Ra last left for solitude. But it is unlikely he is still there. I would start with the caverns near the shoreline. If you find him, and find him well, he may ask for a passphrase. Uh, let me guess, it's, uh, do you have a Geiger counter? And I'll tell him no. Mine is in the shop. If he's working undercover, I can see how a passphrase would be useful. Yes. The problem is, I seem to have forgotten that inscrutable Khajiit word he gave me. So in exchange, I ask you to tell him this. Tell him how, when I met him, I mocked his whiskers. How they were as black as an Imperial's hair. Tell him that his eyes are so narrow that even when he laughs, he looks unhappy. Yet their color still shines as bright as the sun. You love him, don't you? And if he finds that too sentimental, tell him he was more valuable as a rug. Never mind, you don't love him. And when him. he accidentally lights his fur on fire, he would no longer be worth anything to anyone. Yep, no love here. Alright. So, um... Okay, so this takes me outside to Skyrim, but I do want to go back downstairs. So what I'm thinking is, let's go talk to Septimus first, since I've been holding on to his lexicon for God knows how long. Uh, but first, you know, sort of a food run here. Food and water run, although I think I'm fine on water. Uh, Septimus, and then we can go worry about her uh, missing assistant. And for that matter, let's also level up. So... Oh wait, why don't I have any buffs? Like, what up? I, I could have sworn I had some buffs on before. Oh, I think it's because I was using the, um, the Galder amulet before, and I think I took it off, so I'll have to put that back on. So let's do... Magicka. Just increase that a little. And let's put this into... Adept Restoration, sure. Why? Why the hell not? And let's put the Galder Amulet back on. Very useful uh, artifact, if I do say so myself. <laughs> very, very useful. Alright, Arissa, let's head into town. But I, I can't send you into town just to hang out on your own this time. You have to stay with me. I'm sorry to say. Yep, don't, don't fall off the bridge, Arissa. Don't do what I did. Uh, the bridge has been bewitched to make it appear perilous and deter outsiders. Would you like to disillusion the briz bridge? I would like to disillusion the bridge. And now, if I look behind me... Oh, my lord! <gasps> Orissa, it's so safe now! Oh, look! It's so safe and you're not going to fall off. Oh, it's amazing. Beautiful. I love it. 
Oh, mages and their crazy magic and your st my stupid horse. It's not really my horse, it's just here. Oh, wow, it is really, really hazy out right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's buy some food. Ooh, I should talk to the Jarl. I don't know if I've talked to the Jarl yet here. Arissa, stop pushing me. <laughs> Arissa's always so scared of everything. She just rushes into rooms and is like, oh no. I'm terrified of ceilings. Oh, they're so scary looking. Turns out who runs Venterhold doesn't change much. Can't say I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Alright then. You see, I like just being able to pick up random assignments and be like, alright, maybe I'll do it later. Um, what have you got for sale? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Lovely. Beds for the very tired because, goddamn, you should probably sleep. Not you, me. I should probably sleep. Uh, ooh, clam chowder. I was thinking of making clam chowder, so I'll just take some of that. I'll take some horker and ash yam stew. Some horker loaf. I'll take all your jasmine crostatas. Like a goat roast, pheasant roast, snowberry crostatas. And I think that'll do in terms of food. I think that's enough, don't right, you? Then. I wonder how much I've spent on food across, like, my entire journey, because goddamn do I eat a lot. Hello, Bard. How are you? You don't want to sing or talk? All right. Hello there. Hello. Oh, it's you! Farewell. I remember you from the, uh, from Azura's Shrine. And Alfram's here. How you doing, buddy? He doesn't want to talk. You see, he only wants to talk to Zora. And, I mean, who can blame him? Granted, I haven't seen Zora in forever, ever since we concluded our journey with, um... With, uh, with Thane Larsden and all of them. You lost? Hello there. You're not very well dressed for a Jarl. Let me just say that much. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Did I already talk to you? I'd like to know more about Winterhold's history. I'm afraid the winter hold you see before you is somewhat underwhelming. Yeah. I can assure you, though, that it was quite something in its prime. An early capital of Skyrim, you know. Sadly, the Oblivion Crisis took its toll on Winterhold in more ways than one. Then, the Great Collapse swallowed most of our beloved city. The Great Collapse? What's that? How did the Oblivion Crisis impact Winterhold? You may have noticed the college, just to the north there. Very prestigious place. Mages from all over Tamriel traveled here to seek knowledge. After the Oblivion Crisis was over, many felt that magic users were to blame. Elves, to be specific. It created a great deal of tension. A good many dark elves were driven from the city. And people became uncomfortable with the presence of the college. Not today. And the Great Collapse? What's that? Just about 80 years ago, there was a terrible disaster. The cliffs overlooking the Sea of Ghosts collapsed, taking most of Winterhold with them. In the middle of it all, the college was practically untouched. Many of the survivors were suspicious. Some believed the mages were behind the whole thing, and others felt they could have at least prevented it. Archmage Aaron assures me that his people had nothing to do with it, and I believe him. But Winterhold never recovered. All right, then. Good day. All right. Is with that... the Empire's help, I guess I'd have nothing Winterhold else I want to talk to him about. Back on its feet Divine no smile on you, friend. I... All right, that's... All very boring. Hello there. Keep your guard up. Oh, so, a legate. The latest Dark elf. All right. Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys. Uh, no news, I'm all right afraid. then, sir. You have a None. you have a good day. Arissa, I need you to move. Oh, excuse me. It's all right, Arissa. No I worries. I shall inform you the moment something noteworthy happens. All right. Yes, Let's head out. So I guess we're off to go see uh, Septimus and. <laughs> He's gonna be like, oh god, what's with the dragon? Where did that dragon come from? Is it dead? Yeah, no, the dragon's dead. What the fuck? Why? Why there? There's no place safe. What? 
I... I... Alright. Okay, then. Not even gonna question it. I'm just... Just gonna shake my head and walk away. Because I don't know what else to say about that. I'm so confused. I don't know what just happened. I just... I step outside. I see a... This stupid dragon just dead in front of the College of Winterhold. Like, oh, well, free dragon shout, I suppose. Or not shout, but free dragon soul, I suppose. Also, we got something over here. Let's go investigate. I don't think Arissa cares anymore. I think she just, like, kind of shrugs. She's like, eh, yeah, you know. It happens. I'm convecting this horker. It's not working very well. It's not working very well at all. <laughs> Lightning bolt it is, which isn't working very well either. Jesus Christ, this horker could not give less of a shit about this. Alright. I'm sorry, horker. Nothing personal, buddy. Um. Well, let me take a look at what spells I even have for that matter, because I honestly just don't even know anymore. Because I use magic so infrequently. Uh, so, firebolt 25. Damage, same for Lightning Bolt. I should really just buy some new spells is what it comes down to. And I can do that at the College of Winterhold. I should have done that, frankly. <sighs> Granted, I'm trying to remember who the hell sells destruction spells. Because it's not... It's not Tolfdir. And it's not the, um... It's not the... It's not... Groshub Ubgub, whatever his fucking name is, the librarian. I think it's the High Elf lady. I'm pretty sure it's her. Is there anything here? Or is it just another goddamn dragon mound? Ysgrimor's tomb discovered. Well, that seems like it's important, so I'm gonna leave, because... That seems relatively significant to Skyrim's culture, and I feel like I shouldn't be here right now. It's alright, Horkers, I'm just here to kill you. Very slowly. Oh, whoops, that's Dragonrend. Sorry about that, you're not dragons. I just want to cook them alive so that they're, you know, they're already roasted and ready to eat by the time I kill them. Yeah, they, they just don't give a shit. Well, that increased my destruction, so no arguments there. Let me just take your delicious, delicious meat. Don't mind if I do. And I did... Mark Septimus as my... Yeah, I did. Alright, I just want to make sure I did actually mark him as my... <laughs> as my target. Uh-oh. We got a saber cat over there. I see him, Arissa. Oh, I see him, alright. He doesn't like fire. Little on fire. He's like, oh god, I'm getting out of here. He r ran right into the water to, you know, put out the fire. Ooh, right through the neck. Stupid saber cat. Show him a thing or two about how to fight like a true Nord. Alright, so, gotta find Septimus. Ooh! Shrine of Talos. Don't mind if I do. I'll pray to Talos. I'll be like, hey, Talos, get inside me. Not you, but your your words of wisdom, your wisdom, all that fun stuff. Just not you, specifically, because that sounds a little gross. Let me just pray to Talos. Don't mind all the dead skeevers. And, uh, I'm just gonna hang out in here forever now. Just gonna... Just gonna live in this cage. <sighs> Never mind, I'm already bored of it. Scroll of Calm, don't mind if I do. Ah. Oh. Whoever was here, they were trying to calm the skeevers. Oh, <gasps> and it worked! It worked! Look at the little skeever. Look at him, he's so adorable. Also, here's here's the guy right here. I'll take his stuff. Ooh, his ring. I don't know who I'm supposed to deliver that to. He doesn't have any sort of note or anything on him, so I'm sure I have to deliver it to someone. Ooh, breathing water. I'm going to take this in case it's important. Another scroll of calm. Ooh, oh, 12 salt. <gasps> Hell yes. Hell fucking yes, because I can make so much food now with all that salt. It's fantastic. I'm, I'm happy. Very, very happy. All of my food is very well seasoned. I don't cook anything without salt. Which, you know, probably not good for my Dragonborn cholesterol, but, you know. 
It's not my greatest concern. Besides, I'm sure fast healing helps deal with my cholesterol to some degree. I, I hope so, at least. Someone needs to make a spell. <laughs> Someone needs to make a spell that it's just called Dispel Cholesterol. <laughs> Because, you know, especially here in Skyrim, we're not eating the healthiest of diets. We're eating a lot of horker. We're eating a lot of beef. Well, actually, no. We're eating more horker than we are beef. But still, just not exactly the healthiest of diets. Really not. And I admit it because I'm not, I'm not great about it. I eat so much random junk. I went to the inn and bought all of his crostatas. <laughs> he had like eight of them. I was like, I'll take all of them. I'm just going to shove it in my backpack and I'll just eat them whenever the hell I feel like it. Alright. Septimus, I'm finally back after all these years. Whoop! Hippity hop. When the top level was built, huh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. Uh-huh. Well, I've inscribed the lexicon for you. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Alright then, I have to go <laughs> harvest random blood. Why are you so eager to open the box? Ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls. But their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarine, but my lord told me otherwise. And who is your lord? The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora. God damn it. I thought there were no secrets left to know. Until I first spoke to him. He asks a price. To work his will. A few murders. Some dissent spread. A plague or two. For the secrets I can endure. Of course. In time, he brought me here. To the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening. Aris is just standing behind you like... Really? Like, really? We're helping this fuck? I'm like, Arissa, don't worry about it. Listen, we've dealt with Hermaeus more before. It's not the first time. I can deal with him again if I need to, but hopefully we don't see him. Why did I have to say that? Of course, I just screwed myself over. Hey there. Come closer. Bask in my presence. Don't touch me, please. Who are you? I... I'm Hermes Mora. I've been watching you since you defeated Mirak. Yeah, we we talked, remember? Your progress is most impressive. Thank you. Well, what do you want of me this time? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? Well, I guess I'm your servant, because otherwise I really shouldn't start pissing off the Daedra. Indeed. Speak with me when the box has been opened, and all shall be revealed. Arissa's gonna be mad at me, isn't she?
I wouldn't blame her. Does Arissa disapprove? No? Thank God. Alright, we're good to go. See, Arissa probably realizes that, you know, I'm just being smart. I'm not trying to piss off the Daedric Lord over here. Nothing good ever happens from pissing off Daedric princes, let me tell you. <laughs> it's just a bad idea to begin with. It really is. Alright, so I'm going to make the trek back to uh, the college. Ooh, got some more Horka meat along the way. Because, um, I do want to buy some more spells because, frankly, like, I could use some better spells. Like, look at that. It does no damage to him. If I'm going to be a proper mage, and I'm not saying I'm the best mage out there, but I am a mage. Like, come on, I gotta step up my A game a little bit. Gotta step up my mage game a little bit. Like, come on. You set someone on fire and it really doesn't hurt them at all? It's like, you know you're not doing a great job throwing fire at them. Wait. There we go. It just took all my magicka. But that's fine, because, hey, free horker meat, right? Don't mind if I do. Oh. Oh, husky. Oh, so cute. Cute little husky. Uh-oh. Well, we have a very angry skeleton mage over there, so let's go investigate. He's fighting someone, so I wonder who he's fighting. Or what he's fighting, because he was aiming down, so it might have been like a dog or something. Oh, yeah, he killed a fox. God damn it. That's my job. You killed that poor fox. What does he say now? He doesn't say anything because he's goddamn dead. <laughs> he just, just tumbled over from a little bit of fire. That's how it should be. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, he is alright with fire, though. He doesn't mind as much. He minded a lot. Uh, looks like there's something floating in the sky. Let me hit it with my, my fireball. My fireball doesn't mind. Or, <laughs> whatever I shot at doesn't mind. Boop. Man, he got some distance. I love it. So let's check this out right here. Have I been here before? I don't even... Well, I mean, I know I've been to this area before. Because I had to rescue Zora here. I just obviously didn't open this door. Hello? Oh, there's a skeleton. Oh, a master necromancer. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. A Draugr Guardian. That's never good. Arissa, you take you take her out, and I'll help. There we go. Beautiful. Uh oh, we got more. Oh yeah, we got more. Oh, nice. Was that a storm cloak? Oh no, he's wearing leather armor. Okay. Uh oh, more. Yep. We. Is that another necromancer? Yep. Did someone bring the necromancer back to life? Nope. That was just another necromancer. God damn. They are everywhere. Let me tell you. Let's search this chest. For the Ages of Man. I must have already read this book because I don't I didn't learn anything from it. What do we have in here? Soul gem, gold. Alright, I'll take it. Oh, I need a key to open that. The Winterhold Ruins. Oh, Rissa! <laughs> oh, there's an arrow inside your neck and one in your head. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You're going to be okay. I promise you that much. Alright, so now let's head back to the college. So I can learn my new spells like I want to. <laughs> oh, and we'll heal up Arissa because goddamn, does that look painful. Let me just very carefully slide down this mountainside. A lot easier than it looks, I suppose. Whoop, whoop. Okay, we're good. We're good. You saw that. It was slipping, sliding all over the place. And it went very, very well. I wonder if I could, you know... Maybe send Orissa out on some of these random quests that I get. Like, uh, oh yeah, kill this this bandit. Uh, go kill this um, this Draugr or whatever. You know, all the random, very simple bounties that I get from all the Jarls and the stewards. Like, oh, what if I could send, I could send Orissa and Inigo out, and they could be like my emissaries. Oh, that'd be incredible. And I can just make them do my work for me and they bring back the gold, I'll be like, yes, yes, very good. You've brought my gold to me. I am very, very pleased with your performance. Granted, I wouldn't say it like that because they're my friends and I 
I would appreciate it, and they can keep some of the gold for all I care. This is all the way over there. I can just kind of see her walking around in the background. <laughs> uh, so, let's get back inside. Let's go to the College of Winterhold. Um, buy some spells and all that fun stuff, and then we'll set off for Solitude, because I do want to find this assistant of hers. Help uncover this forgotten lore. And, more importantly, now I want to find out what's with the, um, the Winterhold Ruins. Now I want to open those, because now I'm just really curious. Because I have no clue. I need a key, but... Oh. Who has the key? Like, where, where do I get it from? Also, that bridge still looks pretty shitty. I thought I repaired it. I thought I disillusioned it. Perhaps I did. Perhaps the... I mean, I assume the bottom would still look like shit, so never mind. Ignore me. That stupid horse is still just hanging out here. Stupid horse, get out of my way. Yeah, no, look, the bridge is not... The bridge isn't fixed anymore. Come on. Disillusion the bridge. Eh, there, there. Disillusion. Disillusion the bridge. And stay disillusioned this time, goddammit. I don't want it to wear off. You stay disillusioned. You stay like that. That way my horse doesn't go flying off of you anymore. Hopefully. Although, one can never really tell. So, I'm just trying to remember who sells the goddamn destruction spells. The sands are cold, but Khajiit feels warmness from your presence. Khajiit, stop, stop hitting on me, alright? It's very, very I never odd. I would have suspected that the eye could be so dangerous. Tolfdir is right, isn't he? Magic really can overwhelm you. Is, uh, is something wrong? Yes, but it needs to be kept quiet. Okay. I may have entered into an agreement with Inther. He had something I needed, so I traded him something of mine. It was a mistake, and now I want back what I gave him. It's an amulet that belonged to my family, and I never should have given it to Inther. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. All right, fine. Um, why is this amulet so important to you? I told you it's from my family. Then why'd you give it away? I don't... I know they've always disapproved of what I wanted in life. To learn magic instead of becoming a farmer or a hunter. But no matter how poorly they may have treated me, they're still my family. I didn't consider that until after I made the trade. What was the trade for, for that matter? Well, what did you need from him? It doesn't matter. It's also none of your concern. Whoa, alright. Just talk to him. See if you can convince him to give my amulet back. All I'm saying is, if you're asking me to do this for you, I have the right to know. I think. Granted, I could be wrong, I'm often wrong, but... <gasps> Look at all the food! Oh, yes, I am sorry, other students, but I need some of this food. Oh, yes. Oh, alright, so much better now. Uh, let me take the pheasant, the rabbit, and the garlic. Oh, that's not the garlic. Let me read this book. Uh, the tome contains a variety of traditional Nordic recipes. Mmm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Alright, so... Let's head back out. Because I'm pretty sure the person I'm looking for is in the other set of dormitories. But we're about to find out. Hello? Oh, Arniel, where are you going? Where is she? Is she still just hanging out in, like, the college itself? Nasty. Oh, hello, Finnis. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. Okay, buddy. Perhaps we can go decades without a disaster. Nope. That would be nice. Like, I, I vaguely remember the person that I'm looking for living on the bottom floor. Point. Oh. We owe you that, Archmage. Thank you. No problem. The Eye of Magnus. Here, but lost. Slipped through our grasp. Oh, what we might have learned. I kind of want to see what he has for sale. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Alright, so... I have most of these spells, actually. So, alright. Good day. Good day, I'm indeed. I'm always available Ooh. should you need me, Archmage. Tolf, dear. Like it or not, you are a shining example to future generations of college mages. Um... Is there anything I should be aware of? It would seem so. We've been contacted by the Jarl of Whiterun. Oh, no. It would seem there's some sort of disturbance. 
from what few details we were given, it sounds quite familiar. I suspect that the power released by the Eye of Magnus was not fully contained and has coalesced in this part of Skyrim. I do hope you still have the Staff of Magnus someplace. I suspect you're going to need it. It's somewhere, but who knows anymore. Um... What have you got for sale? Take a look. Also, I know he doesn't have the destruction spells I'm looking for, but I figured I might as well take a look. I have most of these, so... Take All right. care now. Oh, you! We all have you to thank for saving the college. Your yes. Your position is well-deserved. Yes, yes, you're the one I'm looking for. Um, what have you got for sale? Take a look. And you'll see all my pretty spells. Ooh, en oh yeah, enchant arrows. Don't need that, though. So, damn it, do you really not have... The spells that I'm looking for? Alright, fine. Well, in that case, I'd like training in destruction magic. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. I'm fine with that. Oh yeah, I only have 27 in destruction, so alright, so let's just... You know what, I'm gonna train all five times, because why the hell not? I have the money, look, I've got 147,000 gold. I can afford it. Uh, is there any advice you can give about destruction spells? Certainly. Destruction spells come in different forms, each useful for various purposes. Uh -huh. Concentration spells can be cast immediately, though they're weaker. Good for a tight spot and less costly if you miss. You'll also need to decide whether to devote yourself to a single type of spell. Focusing solely on flame spells will make them more powerful, but you may find yourself at a disadvantage against foes immune to fire. Alright then. All right, then. I, I just said that. Leave me alone. 